Cuts channel. Featuring Miss Nancy's garden. Miss Pope here. Welcome to my channel and um, for our first ever vlog. As you can tell from the intro, we are going to be following Miss Nancy's garden, who if you have been in my class or are currently in my first grade class, shout out to Forest Lake friends. You know Miss Nancy is my awesome mother. So let's check out what she's doing in the garden. Hey Miss Nancy, what's going on today in your garden? Hey guys, how are y'all? I'm glad you get to see my garden today. Right now I've got my tomato plants planted and I'm picking off what you call suckers, which is a little bit, you see a little bit of a stem coming up in the middle and I, and I pick those off so the rest of the flower gets nutrients. You can also see I've got some blooms and I've even got a little tiny tomato that's getting ready to come up. Awesome. What else do you have going we've on? We've got our six tomato plants and we've got three pepper plants, two jalapenos and one bell pepper. And then the rest of this is okra. And if you look real closely, I planted the okra seed and it has just started coming up. Let me show you what an okra seed looks like. See, I, I bought it in a bag and it looks kind of like the okra, what's the inside an okra if you eat okra. And I planted two plants for each hole and pretty soon I'll dig one of the, pull one of these up because there just needs to be one coming up. So why do you um, plant two? Because you never know if one might not grow. And so I plant two and then you pull one up. Excellent. So guys, she said that there are some jalapeno peppers right there. Then she has some, what other kind of peppers do you bell have? Pepper. Some bell pepper. And then the rest of this is all okra. So we'll have to see how the okra and the peppers grow Go. awesome i've never planted this before but i had planted some carrot seeds i had some carrot seeds and you can see it's coming up right here all along here i don't know if we're gonna get it or not because i've got a bunny rabbit that's in the yard too i might be feeding the bunny rabbit but once these leaves it once these have three leaves on them i'll pull all but one of the plants up so that the carrots can grow in the ground can we check out how what the seeds look like sure these are i've got some other seeds up at the house planted that are a little bit bigger than this but that's what a carrot seed looks like check that out those are so tiny it's going to be awesome to watch that plant grow to see and how big it gets from that small seed each one of those seeds turned into one of these little green plants awesome what else do you have going on in here well let's see right here would you ever guess that this is asparagus whoa It's an asparagus. It's wow. a tiny one. But you can eat that. In fact, I might just eat it. Here's another one right here, Miss Poe. Oh, wow. It looks like that Miss Nancy is right now pulling out, picking her own asparagus that she has grown. Look at that. Delicious. Excellent. That looks so cool. It looks like I see another one right around there. Oh, excellent. See how she snapped that off? And then she'll be able to put that in the pan and cook those right up. Excellent. That is so cool. All right, y'all, we're gonna keep going. We're going inside her garden to see a few more things. Check it out with me. Let me show you what she has. First of all, what do we have over here? First of all, we've got three watermelon plants. And hopefully by the end of the summer, it'll be growing out way out of this, of this area. But that's watermelon. 
And then right here are the cucumber plants. And I'm gonna let them grow up on this vine right, on this screen right here. She's the screen going all the way up. It looks so like they'll, they'll be they'll pretty tall. Up this way. And then these are called pole beans. So hopefully the beans will start running up the pole and we will get some string beans. Check these plants out, y'all. It looks right here though, Miss Popeye's looking. It looks like I might have something eating this one. Oh, so she'll have to check it out and investigate her plant to see how she can keep it growing. Who knew that we were gonna pick, come down to her garden and be able to pick on the first episode some asparagus, y'all. Guess what else she has in her yard? I can't wait to show you. What is this? I am really excited about this. This is my grape arbor, and I get some scuppernons and muscadines on it. And look, I was just looking on here. It looks like I'm just starting to get some grapes on it. They're gonna turn into flowers, and then they'll turn into to the grapes. Ooh, y'all, we're going to be able to watch that grow. Look at all these beautiful. And I have, I have a fun fact for you. The actual grapevine, where it's growing, is actually the play set that I used to play on as a child. So, or the swing set that I used to play on. So I'm going to show it to you again so that you can check out how it used to be a swing set. And now she's turned it into a great look vine. at that right there if you go in close guys you can actually see the rope swing that we had and then there was some swings that were hooked on up here and we used to swing from it so it is a cool thing that she's turned this post in to her own grapevine let's go check out some other things that she has Ooh, what is this this is a fig bush and this is one of my favorite fruits mine too there's not any um, fruit on it yet but we will watch because if we keep watching come july we are going to have figs that we will be able to stand out here and eat so we'll just check it every week so y'all this is pretty cool because this fig bush right here that we are actually that miss nancy showed us that i'm standing underneath it she actually planted when i was a child and y'all i have to say you got to look at this thing you got to look at this thing because it used to be so small whenever i was a child and now over the years it has grown 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 and i'm going to show you the size of it you look just look at how massive it has grown so cool so we can't wait to see what type of or how many figs we're gonna get off of this up oh, and it looks like you see i spotted miss nancy hard at work pulling off some vines i'd gotten on the, her fence always hard at i was work. standing underneath the fig bush and miss nancy yelled down to me and said hey come check this out watch what she is that i thought i had lost because it had gotten hit by a tree and all of a sudden it has come back and look what I have found. They have got some grapes already on it. Mm, wow. It might just be one bunch, but we'll get to eat us a bunch of grapes. So she is trying to save that little bush. Look, that little tiny plant right there is going to produce some grapes because we look like we saw some on there today wow that is hey, so friends cool. as the wind is picking up here um i just have to say one more thing friends we're going to go get a tip from our very own uh, miss nancy about gardening plant tip of the day here we go come on all right miss nancy we are here and we're ready for our tip of the day well, guys i usually always read the back of my package of seeds to see it will tell you how deep you need to plant your seed. And this says three quarters of an inch, which means it's about like this. So I'm gonna take the tip of this and just stick it down in the ground and make a little hole. So I've got my hole here. And then I will take just two okra seeds and put them in the ground and just cover them up. And hopefully in four or five days, we'll start seeing little plants come up, but I have to water it as well. So as soon as you plant in the ground, you always need to water. Awesome. Thanks, Miss Nancy. Uh -huh. Y'all have a good one. All right, friends. I am super excited since you now have seen Miss Nancy's entire garden and what she has going on in her backyard. Um, so I'm going to now play some videos, or not videos, but I'll play some pictures in 
um, the video at the end so you can actually see where her garden is now and we're going to watch it over the next couple weeks. I can't wait. Stay tuned. All right, friends, this is Miss Pope signing out till next time. Bye. <laughs> Wait, stop. Miss Pope. Okay. All right, y'all.